In the third segment of the overview tutorial, we will explore the final tool on the derivatives palette, the Terrain Model tool. A terrain model is generated from a group of contour lines, which are open or closed 2D objects, and a site, also a 2D object, but it has to be closed. We begin by generating a series of 2D lines with the spline tool. These will be the contour lines. Next we use the rectangle tool to create a closed shape that will function as the site boundary for the model. Note that the contour lines should be crossing the boundary of the site while they should not cross each other. Contour lines represent sections of a landform and typically have heights associated with them. The ones we drew are all at zero height, so we shall ask Form Z to assign heights to them. In the Terrain Model Options dialog, select Set New Interval. The default interval is set to 4 feet. With the Pick tool, select the contour lines from lower to higher. Note that the order is significant. Then, with the Terrain tool, click on the site. A 3D solid terrain model is generated. Undo the previous operation so that the original contour lines and site boundary remain. Recall that prior to the generation of the terrain model in the previous example, in the Set New Interval field of the Terrain Model Options dialog, we left at the default value of 4 feet. Also remember that we left the type of model category set at the default, which is the Mesh Model option. For our next terrain model, enter 2 feet in the Set New Interval field and select the Step Model option. Exit the dialog and generate the terrain model exactly as we did previously. Observe the result. Notice the contours are now steps and are at 2 feet instead of 4 feet. Undo the previous actions again so that we are left with the original contour lines and site boundary. Invoke the Terrain Model Options dialog again and select the Triangulated Contour Model option. Regenerate a new terrain model as we have done so previously and observe the result. This concludes the third segment of the overview tutorial.